I think why people loved Hannah Montana was because Hannah Montana did feel real, and that's because I was under there. Miley Cyrus is once again getting candid about her time on Hannah Montana, and she even compared it to toddlers and tiaras, so something tells us it actually wasn't the best of both worlds. Today's episode is presented by Lyft. It matters how you get there. Download and ride today. But if there's one thing Miley fans want to know, I can tell you, yes, underneath the wig, underneath the zebra print and all that makeup, it was just Miley. Imagine being 13 years old, having your first crush, going through puberty during that cringy awkward stage, and oh yeah, having your own TV show where you star as not one, but two totally different people. How Miley Cyrus kept her sanity is truly beyond me, but she has been very open about her time on Hannah Montana and recalled it being nothing short of chaotic. During an interview on CBS Sunday Morning, Miley once again opened up about her time on Disney Channel, saying that she liked her time on it because she didn't know anything else and was doing what she always wanted to do, but it wasn't always rainbows and sparkles for Miley as she also opened up about the experience of dressing up every day being a lot for her to handle as a kid. That's a lot to put on a kid. It's a lot to put mm -hmm. on a kid to have them have to go get their makeup done and then also balance school and then also have me dress up, you know, in a wig as a kid is a little weird, you know, it's a little toddlers and tiaras. Miley was then asked whether she looks back on her Hannah Montana days in a positive way and we can all just breathe a sigh of relief. Miley has no regrets about joining the Disney franchise, but she did say that touring as both Miley and Hannah might have contributed to some emotional distress. She said, quote, I think that's probably what's a little bit wrong with me now. I mark that up to doing some extreme damage in my psyche as an adult person. Okay, so she did technically joke about it, but I can only imagine the crisis of being two people let alone being a teenage girl as one person. So many things going on there. Thankfully, Miley did end the interview on a positive note, generally understanding why everyone loves Hannah and bringing it all back to the girl under the wig. I think why people loved Hannah Montana was because Hannah Montana did feel real, and that's because I was under there, and people forgot that sometimes. That was great music for yeah. kids to listen to. Yeah. There's yeah. a song called Life's What You Make It, So Let's Make It Rock. Never forget that, wise words. That's a good thing to tell kids. So, moral of the story here, Miley Cyrus still loves Disney. She has no regrets. She does have some emotional distress and she had a slight identity crisis. It sounds like personally my teenage years all over again. But honestly, in all seriousness, we are glad that the girl under the blonde wig has come full circle and found herself. So right now, I gotta know what you guys thought was the most shocking part of Miley's interview. So get to talking, you know what to do, down here in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching Clever News, everybody. I'm your girl, Jocelyn Davis. I'll see you next time. Right now, click to the left to get all the deets on Selena and Justin Bieber's second reunion this week, or over to the right to see how Demi Lovato seriously just won Halloween this year. This episode was presented by Lyft. It matters how you get there. Download and ride today.